In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to have a better pocket presence in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and if this is your first time checking out my YouTube channel, I just want to encourage you to watch the video all the way through, and I want to thank you for stopping by, and really quickly, I just want to encourage you to, if you have any questions related to Madden 18, go ahead and ask them, because uh, what my channel basically does, just to give you a quick summary, is I try to help people get better at the game. Um, through different things, different tactics and strategies that I've developed over time. So that's pretty much uh, what I'm trying to do here. So I only, my goal is entirely just to help you get better. So if I can do that in any way, please let me know. All right, guys, so pocket presence. Here's the thing with pocket presence this year. It's very, it's not an easy thing to talk about because it's actually really hard to explain how to have a good pocket presence. Some people have it and some people don't. But here's a couple things that I do that, that could potentially help you. So I'm going to go with the bunch wide. This is the offense that we talked about in the premium membership. In my opinion, the best offense in the game. And if you want the offense, you can get it by checking out the premium membership. Uh, defensively, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use 3 through 5 odd. This will give me access to all the pressure. And again, we talked about all this pressure in the premium membership. All right, so pocket presence. Here's what you have to remember. The majority of pressure in Madden, the majority of pressure in Madden is going to come off the edge. So um, here's one of the blitzes we have in the premium membership, and uh, and it's a, it's a two-man pressure. So I'll just show it to you real quick. So what's going to happen here is I am going to run my standard play where everybody goes out on a route. And you're going to see that if I stand still, they're going to get an edge rush off this right side. They're going to... Bar is going to come around eventually, and in the game, it actually is a lot more consistent. For some reason, in practice mode, uh, the blitzes don't work the same, but it is it is consistent. So, uh, and it's essentially, what I'm saying though is most of the pressure that you're going to face in Madden is going to come from the edges. It's not going to come from the middle, more than likely, especially with all the updates that they've made to the game this year. It's very difficult, and so what's going to happen is if you back up or if you stand still, uh, we'll show it to you from the other side too. So if you back up or stand still, uh, so let's show you that real quick. So I'm just going to back up with Brady. This is what I normally do. This is what most people do. They'll back up, back up, back up. And what's going to happen is the it, it quickly disengages the blockers. The lineman can't block them. The lineman can't block them. So here's what you want to do. When you go through your pocket, when you go through your reads, whatever it may be, we're just going to run a standard edge rush here. And I'm not doing any adjustments. But you want to take your quarterback and you want to literally step him up in the pocket a couple steps. Now, you don't want to do what you don't want to do is you don't want to do too much. Because if you do too much and they happen to have, um, you know, for whatever reason, maybe they do something like this. You know, I'm not sure what exactly they would do. But you would face something like this. And what's going to happen is if you step up too much, you're going to step right up into this right here. And then if you try to throw it, you're not going to make an accurate throw. So it's a little bit of an art. It's a little bit of science. I mean, there's a little bit of both sides. And so what you want to do is you want to take the left stick, left analog stick. And what I do is I step him up once and then twice. And then that's when I, that's about when I stop. Okay. That's about when I stop. Because what you want to try to do is you want to basically try to get in between your tackles and your guard. And as the thing is going on, so you're right in here, right in there. That's where you want to be. Okay. Right in there. And as you see, if they bring a middle rush, which is very rare, but it is gaining some traction. There's a couple of defenses that you can bring middle rushes out of. So let me show you a middle rush situation. So this is this is one of the other blitzes we have in the premium membership. It's, a, it's an A-gap blitz. But basically what you want to do in that situation. So ide you're going to identify the pressure, and you're just going to slide to the opposite side. So, again, it's a little bit tricky. But basically... Um, what I'm trying to get you to see here is a lot of it is about stepping up in the pocket and then sliding opposite side there. As you can see, I slid to the blitz and it got me and it got me. OK, so again, that's that's something that's really, really important um, as you go through your as you go through your thing here. So if they blitz me from the right or the other side, what I want to do is basically step up diagonal. Right. And then be able to throw. So it's a little bit of an art, a little bit of a science to it, but but the real concept that a lot of people miss when they when they try to work the pocket is what they try to do is they do this. They'll back up, back up, back up, and I'm guilty too. And what happens is the, the, the linemen disengage. They really do. 
what you want to do is you want to step up in the pocket um, and you want to take about two steps. You don't want to step up too much, but right in here is where you want to be. Okay, right, right in there. And then it's okay because you'll see your quarterback, what he does is he bounces around in the pocket, which what that basically means is he's always ready to throw here. And then what you can do, what you can do is based on the situation, because again, it's not a one size it's all pocket presence is, is very situational. But when you step up in the pocket, if they double team, then you can spin out kind of like Russell Wilson does and you can make a throw. Okay. And again, most quarterbacks this year can do it. They've revamped. Um, last year was very difficult to manage the pocket. This year it's a little bit easier. But basically what you want to do, again, is you want to step up at first. And then if they come in, then you can spin out and throw. Okay. But what you don't want to do is you at the start of your at the start of your drop, the best the worst thing you can do is back up. Because if you back up, especially if you're in shotgun, you're you're gonna have a lot of trouble. You're gonna have a lot of trouble. OK, so again, the biggest thing I want to reiterate to you is is to step up in the pocket. And then if you see middle linebackers rush you, if, if like right here, they're rushing me. OK, now I can back back off and make a throw. But normally what's going to happen is the pressure is going to come from the edge, which is why you need to step up. OK, because what's going to happen is if you don't or if you step up, it's going to alleviate a lot of pressure this year. I found that I don't feel as much pressure when I step up. So literally step up a couple steps here and then throw. You know, and if something like that happens, a block shit up the middle, that's where it gets a little difficult. Um, and we all know that. That's just basic football. If you get pressure up the middle, it's much, much harder. So like right here, pressure middle. Okay, I'm going to roll out and then I throw. Again, you want to try to set your feet with non-mobile quarterbacks. But anyways, guys, that is the basic bare necessities that I could give you on pocket presence. There's a ton of stuff. And what I really want to do is spark a discussion and see what your thoughts are, what your questions are in the comments. So let me know what questions do you have? What problems are you having with pocket presence? What do you think I can do to help you get better? Okay. If you can give me that feedback in the comments, then we can have a discussion. And then that would help me maybe do some more specific videos in the future. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And again, if you're new, if you want any of my content, it's all available in the description. You can check that out. In